Hello everyone. In this feature video, I'm going to go and show you through the new Illuminate version 2.0 and the enhancements that we've added and show you briefly how to go through the installation process of this new version of Illuminate. There's a list of new features and content. First, we've added a new menu under Enterprise called Illuminate. And we've now got a much more easier way to deploy Illuminate packages through a drag and drop installation interface. Auto creation of index sets for Illuminate packages requiring those new indexes are now being done within the same area. So you don't have to manually create your indexes any longer. We're also introducing a new Greylog schema, which includes something called the GIM, which is the Greylog information model. And what that will do is categorize your logs by type of log, not by source type, but by message type. So the type of message coming in, and we'll go through that here in a moment. And finally, we have included some favorite vendor products in a new listing in our content pack. So you've got some of your new favorite products in Greylog, and we'll go through those momentarily. The Greylog Enterprise Illuminate Manual will bring a new page for the user interface that will allow you to drag and drop and show you the Illuminate bundle provided by Greylog will be easily dropped into your cluster. This new feature will make it much faster and easier so that when you deploy the files, you don't need to manually copy them to the servers directly and you'll be able to just use this guide and drag and drop, which will push the files out to the nodes in your cluster. Once the zip bundle is dropped into the user interface, it'll expand the content packs that are available. And it's here where you can select which Illuminate packs are relevant to you, or you can install them all if you wish. The creation of the index, index sets takes the manual configuration away from this activity and also helps you ensure that there's no potential configuration issues in the future with your streams and your indexes. Additions to Greylog schema that are released in this called the Greylog information model will enable all logs from any sources or any type to be categorized. Categorizing the logs will enable feature rich searches and dashboards based on many different types of events in your logs. All information indicating authentication events, identity and access management specific information, endpoint specific logs, network and events, as well as name resolution, enhancing your visibility and information, and finally alerts to notify you of your specific needs and immediate response. The Greylog Illuminate is here to highlight the pulse of your entire ecosystem, giving you the oversight in everything happening in your applications, network, and security. So as you'll see here on our screen, we are many things, and this is a great way to start bringing in value into Greylog. And finally, many new content packs have been announced and including are some of these you see on the screen here now. Let's go through some basic upgrading notes prior to doing the upgrade. You must have already upgraded to Illuminate 1.7. So if you are on a release of Greylog that supports up to 1.7, you must ensure that you are on version 1.7 Illuminate. At that point, then you can upgrade to Greylog release 4.2. Once you've upgraded to release 4.2, your current version of Illuminate 1.7 will function on 4.2. The key is you do have to have an enterprise license. So you still need to have an enterprise license for this functionality. To walk through some of the version 2 upgrade steps, it is important to follow this order. Record a list of all of the Illuminate 1.7 content that you have, as you will need to uninstall it later. You'll need to verify and or change the message processor order for the configuration, which I'll show you in a moment. You'll need to extract the Greylog Illuminate release archive file to your management PC, and you'll see some file structures in there. Next, what we'll do is we'll need to upload the Illuminate bundle zip file with the new enterprise Illuminate and activate the bundle packs you require for your organization and activate the technology packs as required. Once these have been completed, the messaging processing order previously mentioned will be processing your logs right away and there'll be no interruption in your service. Next, you can go to the extracted folder and make note of your previous versions of Illuminate version 1.7 under your system content packs menu 
and start installing your version two content packs. Lastly, now that you've done that, you can uninstall your version one content packs and review your notes. Now let's bring in our Illuminate and what we're gonna do first is look at system and configurations. And we're gonna talk about the message processing stream you see right here. The key with installing Illuminate version 2.0 is the Illuminate processor needs to be bumped ahead of the GOIP resolver and the pipeline processor. So prior to doing this upgrade of version 2 Illuminate, you have to ensure that you update it by clicking update. And then in the above window, you can just grab what you need and move it where it needs to be. This has to be done right in the very beginning before you upgrade. Once you've done this and you want to look at upgrading, we'll look here quickly under Enterprise and Illuminate. And I have actually already uploaded the actual content packs. And I will show you really quickly here under our version two Illuminate, you will have a folder that gets extracted that looks like this. You'll have the release notes, the Illuminate bundle zip pack, and the spotlights. So what you see on the screen here is the result of this bundle pack being installed. And to install it, you go to the top here under install a bundle. And in this area, you'll drag the actual Illuminate bundle right into the screen. And it will then extract it and get you the installation screen as shown will not install it manually and automatically. You will have to then select all or select which ones you want to install and click enable selected. Once this happens, if there's new content here that you don't have, new indexes and streams will be processed for these individual items so that you don't have to go in there and do that yourself. So now that you've got your new content pack installed, you will need to go to the system menu under content packs. And here is where you will then go into the folder we talked about under spotlights. And these spotlights will need to be installed. So the spotlight packs that I have with this version two are the Illuminate core, the Illuminate events, which we have a bunch of new events now that are set up so you can take advantage of alerts. We also have a Linux AutoBeat, 0365, Octa, Palo Alto, Sysmon, and Windows Spotlight on top of that. So once that's installed, you will see, if you look up Graylog, you'll see the version two spotlights in here. Your prior releases will have the 1.7. Once these have been installed, you'll need to verify which pack is installed. So for example, I'll go to this event definitions here. And currently I have version four installed, which is the latest revision that's just come out. You can view the details of it. And as you'll see here, these are the event definitions that have been included in this particular pack. So what you can do is you can now go to these other versions and you can actually uninstall them or delete them. If they are installed below in this bottom section, you would then click on them and uninstall them. So as long as the installations are uninstalled here on the bottom screen, It'll be fine. They can be left in the versions at the top. However, your versioning will go up each time you get a new edition here and install them. So this will give you the alerts. Now, going back to all the others, any of the other content packs that show up with version 1.7, you can do the same thing. You can go into each one of these and you can uninstall them. And from here in the main menu, you can actually delete the versions when you're done. So after you've installed the individual pack, you can go and delete it here as well. So now that you've got your version two Illuminate installed, you have your 1.7 uninstalled. Now you can look at your processing order and you can reorder your processing order. Depending on how you're processing, your logs may determine what you'll need to do, whether you'll stay this way or whether you wanna go back to your other processing order. So in this case, I am staying right where I am with what I've got in my log environment. You might be required to do this in yours and you can work with support on ensuring that you've got yours set to your optimal settings. And that finishes off our demo for today for the new version of Illuminate. As always, happy logging with Greylog. Have a great day.